A lot of you guys really seem to enjoy getting to choose my name in Discord because I failed the brain shot challenge last week, so we decided to make the Discord name challenge a weekly thing, and this week we're doing Canada Geese 20 shots, and we have to make at least 6 with a compound bow. And I've not really tried this yet, I don't know how it's going to work. I've got the 600 grain arrows equipped in the Hawk Edge CB70 because I feel like if I actually hit a goose, I want it to die. Uh, so I think those arrows are fine. I don't think anybody's going to complain that I'm using uh, too large of arrows. I've got 356, uh, so that's going to be my main weapon. The only reason I'd use anything else, I've got the Bear Claw here in case we have a level 5 come through. Uh, if that's the case, I've got the 300 grain arrows equipped in that. And maybe we can drop a diamond with the bow somehow. But yeah, that's the plan. I don't really know how this is going to work. How long do I really have? I mean, I don't think that's too bad. I'm pretty sure we should be able to get shots off without a problem. So let's wait for a flock and find out. So the goal here is to make 6 out of 20 shots. And I feel like I pretty much have to call in 20 flocks of geese. Because I don't want to be taking shots of geese that are already spooked uh, or flying away. I really should just do one shot per flock. And uh, just like take the best advantage of the opportunities that I get. And those guys are really not really going where I hope hoped they would uh hopefully one of them will kind of turn this way because i don't really know how this is going to work maybe i might have to intentionally spook them i don't know well that was a clean miss this might be decent actually oh well i'm taking shots of geese that are flying away that didn't last long there we go all right so one out of three is actually the exact percentage pretty much that i need to get uh that would end up being good enough, I believe. Uh, yeah, we did it at 18. So if we can keep up this rate, that'll be okay. Uh, and that was a straight flesh shot. Just barely clipped the back of the wing there. It was 36 meters away, so I guess that explains it. But all right, not too bad. Got one out of the first flock. Maybe taking shots at them flying away isn't so bad because they went over me that way. And generally, they don't do that when they're just coming off their flock. So we might actually have to do it like that. I've got a bit of an idea that I'm kind of considering trying, and basically that is uh, actually letting them land, getting up to shoot, and spooking them, and seeing if they'll fly over me, because shooting them as they're flying down to the ground is a little awkward, because uh, you're trying to shoot like below them and of course in front of them as well, but when they're flying, it's a little easier, at least for me, like to judge when they're flying away than when they're flying down uh, to land, so I think we're going to try that. Uh, we'll see like where they land and if it's going to be possible, and if we get one that's going to fly over us, uh, as they land, we can take the shot with that, but yeah, we'll see. I kind of want to see if that's going to be a better strategy, and maybe that can actually allow us to complete this, because, like, the angle they're flying there, that's a tough shot to make uh, when they're flying straight broadside to me. Like, that one's probably okay. Yeah, I'll probably try that. Uh, he started turning so fast. All right, maybe this one. Oh, that had to be close. So if we can hit this, we'll still be somewhat good. Oh, I'm zero for 40 meters. I must have hit that by accident. And that was a clean miss. I didn't know I was 0 for 40. That must be why we missed that second shot. Because I felt like that was pretty good. Alright, now we are 1 for 6. So we're going to have to make that up somewhere. Alright, we need to not take 3 shots potentially on this and actually get one of these to somewhat still be on track. If that one kind of flies over us like that. Yeah, I like that. Let's try it. There we go. Alright, and can we get another one? I like this one. He's my friend. Nope. He's not my friend. One more try? I shouldn't. Ah, that had to be so close though. Alright, so I shot three times again. So we're two for nine, slightly below where we need to be right now, but definitely still doable. So we've got 11 shots left. we got to get four of them. Uh, and just again, right in the wing. That's why I wanted these 600 grain arrows, because I don't know if the 300 would actually kill it or if it would just end up flying away. Uh, but I was thinking the 300 grain arrows are more accurate. So that might actually be something I should try. I'm going to try one more flock uh, with these 600s. And if we don't get one out of the next flock, I'll probably switch to the 300 green just so uh, maybe we have a better chance of actually getting the hit. So I've been doing a little bit of hopping around and we do have some geese coming over at this spot. So I'm trying to crawl to get into that blind because I feel like that's pretty necessary with the bow. Like I'd have to crouch up and I feel like I'm going to spook them a little more quickly doing it that way than in the blind. So hopefully I can get down here. But guys, if you want to join the Discord... Uh, to get in on getting to choose my name, especially if I do fail this challenge this week, but for any of the next weeks where I'm not able to complete it, uh, be sure to do that. The link to that is in the description below, and it's a great time just being in there, uh, getting to hang out. I'm in there as much as I possibly can be, so be sure to do that. I definitely recommend it, and I'm starting to think I should really only take two shots per flock. They're going to try to land already. I mean, I guess that's kind of okay. We're almost to the blind. Let's hop in here. And will one of you guys like fly over me? Let's do this. Oh, that could work if I can get drawn back. 
All right, I'm not going to take any more shots. Let's just take that one. That's going to put us at 3 out of 10 and right back on track to complete this. Uh, I really shouldn't be taking those risky shots, but I feel like I can make them every time. Uh, and that's why I keep doing it, but let's just stick with that. 3 out of 10, we need to do exactly that on our next 10 shots, and we will complete this challenge. So we are actually back in the blind that we've spent most of our time in doing this kind of challenge. And we've got another flock coming over. And one more thing about Discord as these guys are coming over. Uh, I do run a the Hunter Classic competition in there every week. So if you guys play that, I would definitely recommend looking into that. It's just the biggest animal of a certain species. Uh, this week is reindeer. So I would definitely recommend checking that out. Uh, that once again, you can join the Discord in the link in the description uh, to do that. So yeah, we're 3 for 10 right now. So if we can hit like one of these, I don't know if I want to take a second shot because the thing is I'm not getting that many flocks. And as I said, I feel like I can, I feel like I can make those shots. Are any of these going to really come directly over me? This one is. Let's see if you can hit this. Oh, I missed the wing by a little bit. I shouldn't do it. I shouldn't do it. But I think I'm going to. Yes, it was worth it. All right. So four for 12. We are very much on track right now. Not bad, actually. Shooting one-third, 33%. We're actually a little bit ahead of where we need to be. Another wing shot, though. Just barely clipped that one as well, but I will take it. We've got eight more opportunities. we got to get two of them. All right, we've done another jump, and we've got some more geese coming in. I can't see them yet, so I'm going to keep crouching for now because my blind's somewhat far away. Where are they actually hiding? There they are. All right. Let's go prone and get over here. So we've got eight opportunities. Uh, we need to hit two of the shots. So 25% still. That's close to the the rate that we had to hit anyway. So it's definitely not going to be an easy task. Because that's right about where we've been the entire time. But I feel like we can do this. Especially if I'm taking those careful shots. And not just doing three per flock. I think I'm going to stick with two. Because that's going to give me like four flocks roughly. Uh, to be able to shoot at. And does that one have some white on it? Nah, I think that's normal. Actually just check all of them quickly. I don't see any that look any kind of rare not that I can really worry about that like I just got to shoot ones that give me a an ideal opportunity to hit it with a bow so like if I had a rare maybe I shoot it with the 223 I've got it for that purpose but I don't know I think I like this oh man that was speedy try this one oh I had to be close oh that is a rare I want to do it I I'm not gonna I need to save my shots I think it's a brown hybrid anyway let's take a look uh, might be a gray or something. I'll shoot it with the 223 just for the sake of letting you guys see it. Obviously, it's not going to count for anything. Did I miss that? Oh, no, I didn't. All right, let's jump out and see what that was. But at this point now, we have to go two for six. So we're right back exactly where we need to be in terms of being able to make the shots. So, yeah, I mean, just like that, we're right back like to definitely a good chance of not being able to complete the challenge. It's been a weird one so far, like getting going back and forth between too low and actually being above where I need to be. So we'll see how this works out. But what did we actually shoot here? Was this like a a gray? Because it looked like it had a weird feather pattern. Uh, I think it's a brown hybrid. Yep, it is. Got 100% quick kill on that. That's the first one we've actually had all of our bonuses on. I must say I'm really getting tempted to grab the 300 grain arrows because I know they are more accurate. But I just feel like, and I don't think there's any kind of like difference in the speed at which they shoot but I feel like just that change might be enough to throw me off and make me not be able to do this so if we end up where we need to hit two out of two uh, I'll definitely try it but right now I'm gonna stick with the 600 grains because they've worked we've gotten to this point uh, using them and we've still got six more opportunities so I'm gonna stick with them for now and it looks like this one is gonna be the one of choice I'm zeroed for 40 meters again nice and I'm just gonna leave it I think I didn't like any of those other angles, so we need one more out of the next five to actually complete this challenge, and that was a pretty decent shot on that one. The first really solid hit we've had uh, even got a lung there. Not bad at all. All right, we've got two different flocks of geese coming in. Let's do this. Let's actually complete this challenge, and I will be honest, it's been probably close to 30 minutes since the last flock. This place has been dead, uh, but we've got them coming in now, so let's actually make this shot so we don't have another 30-minute wait. Uh, and hopefully one of these will actually give us a decent opportunity. I've not spotted anything. I probably should do that uh, just in case there is a level five, but I'm not really uh, even that worried. I just want to get a shot on one of these. Uh, and it's going to be kind of weird trying to keep on like keep an eye on both sides. 
because once one of these spooks, they're all going to spook. So I really need to take my first opportunity and that might be that one. Yeah, I think it is. Yes. All right. That will do it. Uh, we actually have some shots left, so why not? That had to be somewhat close. Can we hit this one? Definitely not. And uh, why not just waste the arrows, see if we can get... I think that's 19, and there's just no way this is happening. Nope. But we did make the 6 out of 20. This is it right here. Another female, but we did it. I can't believe we did that. I, I came into this challenge fully expecting to not complete it. Uh, and I was hanging out in Discord like as I was waiting for Flocks for literally 30 minutes. And I said, just watch, I'll fail it by one just like last week. But this week we managed to do it and I am pretty proud of that. That was a good challenge. I was really, uh, really happy with that. Shout out to Incentive. He was actually the one that came up with it. And I think he's done a video of goose hunting with a bow on his channel. So go check that. I'll link to that in the description below. But with that, thank you guys for sticking around to the end. It is very much appreciated and I will see you guys next time.